a lot of people do, and I've been, you know, the person that's done this before too, is you spend too much time getting down to the bar. So we get down to the bar, and now we're here. And we're just you know, you spend so much time down the bar, you're not able to keep that tightness. Remember what I talked about with the rubber band, and you see how CC gets to the bar, and it's just loaded, loaded, tension spring? Think about that. So think about shoulder width stance, arms are straps. What I'd normally do is I'd stretch, I'd stretch out, I'd pull my arms back in to feel that lat, right? Because if you set your lat, your lat is your anchor point in a conventional pull. Your lat is the anchor point. So I get down, arms are straps, loading my hamstrings while I'm going down to the bar. So instead of just bending like this, I load my hamstrings going down to the bar, load the hamstrings, <laughs> grab that bar, and you hear that? Click. Remember that slack that Cece thought about. Feel that click. Feel that click, click, boom. Down to the bar, I get it in one hand, and then when I put my other hand down, I feel it again. But once you get it the first time, it's already there and you keep it, right? So if you keep that tension, you keep it, you pull it back into yourself, and then you just explode from there. So arms are straps, click, then click, and then my last move would be I pull the bar into myself, right? Pull the bar into myself, because if you do that and pull it in, look, it's already wanting to come up, right? It's already off the ground, and I haven't even pulled yet. And you just stand up from there, right? Mm -hmm. So, 